things we are chapped in, and I, I bet, bet you can play this. <laughs> I am Rob Chappers. And I am the captain. And we're excited today to be demonstrating for you at Anderton's.co.uk these amazing Les Paul Classic Plus guitars. We have been lesing it up all day and yesterday with these amazing guitars. We just uh, can't had, stop lesing it. We just can't we? stop lesing it. It's, uh, we've done special leses, we've done leses, we haven't done any. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we've done custom Les Pauls and now we're on to a, another new release for the sort of autumn winter 2011. <laughs> Classic Plus. You may remember uh, from a few years ago there was a there was a Les Paul in the range called a Les Paul Classic. Uh, it sat just below the standard. It had a scratch plate. It had a little 1960 motif on there, and it had a plain top. Mm. Well, this is kind of like a, a sort of a reintroduction of that called the Les Paul Classic Plus. Now so the first. Give us the spec rundown. Well, the first real difference is that rather than being rosewood, this is baked. <laughs> maple. I was going to say baked Alaska. <laughs> I can't stop saying baked Alaska. It's baked maple. Um, well, they force the moisture into it under pressure. Heat it to Heat 200 it degrees. To 200 degrees then Fahrenheit. Then force the moisture back in. With it's bacon. Called, it's called torrefaction. 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 Yes. That, I think that's the name of um, one of my Jarls in really? Skyrim. <laughs> Very Les Paul-esque. Um, we've got uh, two versions of the neck profile, a 50s or a 60s profile. We've, got the, the 50s, we've got the 50s We've got the 50s ones. The 50s one actually is not as chunky as I thought it might I be. I think so. 50s are less chunky than they used to be. Yeah, I think so. They're perhaps, uh, yes. The 50s um, slimmed. Um, we've got mahogany bodies, we've got flame tops. We've got again uh, a throwback to a couple of humbuckers that used to be uh, again on, on a standard a few years ago. So we've got the 496 and the 500. Um, other than that, to be honest, here we've got the vintage, you know, Clues and Deluxe machine heads. I actually owned a classic. I had a Les Paul classic yeah. for years and I really liked it. Yeah. yeah. Great guitars. A lot of yeah. people bought the classic just because it was about £500 less than a standard uh, and, you know, was essentially much the same guitar without yes. the flame top. So no pickup covers. Again, that doesn't really affect the tone. That's just a look. Do they normally do these little markers here? Again, I think that's a, that's 
period could have correct, you know, in certain yeah. areas through the history. They have done the little marker so you can see where you Quite are. I like that. Little metal um, markers. What else we got? No scratch plate, no, no holes even. That's or, a good thing. No woodworm no, holes. No, no woodworm hole. <clears throat> uh, four super sexy colours. Couple of fairly traditional colours in the sort of tobacco burst and the heritage cherry burst here. But I'm loving the, this blue the one. The Anderton's colour. Yeah, the blue one's new. Uh, what do they call that? Chicago blue? Manhattan blue, because of course Manhattan. this month Manhattan is blue as opposed to Chicago. <laughs> Are these guitars? 15.99, as far as I know. He's good, and the, probably my favourite one. Although I change my mind every five minutes, but I'm loving this translucent black, sort of black grey kind of top here. Looks That's gorgeous. really, really nice, isn't it? If you want to find out more <clears throat> about the uh, difference between a baked maple board and a rosewood board, go and check the video that we did about the Les Paul um, Custom Classic, which is here. Because in that video we do some real close-ups and we actually compare it to a to a Les Paul with a rosewood neck, yeah. so you can find out exactly the difference. Basically, they're brighter, a bit brighter, a bit smoother to play. But yeah, yeah go and find out uh, on that video. Let's take a listen to the pickups. Let's do that. I think Lee should do it. Well, I'm plugged into a Fender Supersonic 22, so I've got some lovely clean sounds and quite an American kind of gain sound. Chappers is into a Marshall DSL 401. Uh, a much more traditional sort of British sounding amplifier. Um, so my clean sounds are, this is my um, neck pickup. Oh, my plectrums are rattling on top of my amplifier. <laughs> this is my treble pickup. Much brighter. Fancy Lee. Great sound. And this is both together. I might play that chord. Let me see it. All the controls are exactly the same as on a regular Les Paul, so two volumes and two tones. Let's hear it through a Marshall. position. Neck position. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who this is, this is Chris Geddon, he's a good friend of mine. He's a session player, super, super great guitar player. He's got some insane pentatonic three octave, seven million finger tapping legato skills. And uh, I just like to get him here and, and, and do my job sometimes. 